Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about the Dungeons and Dragons Paramount 21, 2021 uh, Dungeons and Dragons movie and what genre that movie should be. All right. Okay. So uh, Paramount, ha Paramount has the rights to make the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Uh, they have already stated that this film will come out in 2021. The script is currently being written. Uh, there is a ton on the line with this film. So I believe that uh, Dungeons and Dragons is probably one of the most undervalued intellectual properties on the earth. I think it's worth, you know, it's it's a, it brings in a few million every year. Like the entire tabletop role-playing game industry. Uh, the whole thing in the year 2017 was $35 million, which is... It's really, really small. So what I so basically, there's just a ton on the line with this film, right? So I'm going to break down like every single aspect of this film I possibly can, and talk about what it should be. Uh, you know, casting my hopes into the wind, you know, and hoping that some movie executive will see this right here on YouTube uh, and use these ideas. Please do Hollywood. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so here's what the movie genre should be for Dungeons and Dragons. So the way I approach this is we really need to think about what genre this movie should be, okay? And one, it's going to be multiple genres. That's a fact, period, okay? But I looked at every single major um, movie genre. And so every single movie genre that I'm going to talk about today has well over 100 examples of movies that exist within this genre, right? All right, so let's break it down, right? Movie genres for Dungeons & Dragons Paramount 2021 film, which is also the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition uh, movie. So this will be the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition movie, and the reason why is it will be the movie that occurs within Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. And the reason why is there's no way there's going to be a Dungeons & Dragons 6th edition before the movie comes out in 2021, as Paramount currently has planned, Okay. All right, so let's talk about these genres, right? He, so there's three categories for genres. No, do not do this genre for Dungeons and Dragons. There's maybe, right? And then there's finally, yes, these are the correct genres for the Dungeons and Dragons movie. So all the follow, following are absolutely no, do not attach this genre to the Dungeons and Dragons movie. By the way, pure fact, this movie will be multiple genres, okay? All right. So these are all no. Do not make it a drama. Uh, do not make it a drama movie. Do not make it a spy movie. Do not make it a western movie. Do not make it a thriller. Do not make it a musical. Do not make it a crime film. Do not make it a science fiction film. Do not make it a supers film. Do not make it a noirs film. Do not make it a sports movie. Do not make it a martial arts film. And do not make it a legal film, okay? These are all genres that can be taken off the board. They do not belong attached to the Dungeons and Dragons Paramount 20, 2021 film, okay? Here's the maybes. These should all be considered, right? These should all absolutely be considered. Horror. I really think there's, a, there's an excellent argument that the Dungeons and Dragons Paramount 2021 film should be uh, a horror film, right? So it's a fascinating genre. Uh, I think there's more innovation being done in um, in horror films than any other movie genre right now. Romance. There should this should absolutely Dungeons and Dragons Paramount 2021 film should absolutely not be. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is the maybe's list. It absolutely should maybe be a romance. And uh, so why do I say this? Well, I'll tell you why I say this. Crazy Rich Asians. Uh, that was a romance film. It was one of the best films of 2018 that I've seen. It was tremendous. It was really, really good. And I really think we should consider putting, attaching the romance genre to Dungeons and Dragons. Now, of course, that wouldn't be the only genre. All of these would be attached to another genre. But I really think romance should be considered. Uh, it, it, you know, um, one of the things is it could it could bring in a wider, um, broad, a wider number of people who might go see the film. Okay, war should absolutely be considered. Uh, the war genre should be considered to be attached to the D&D movie. Um, disaster. I think there's, you know, like a flood in Faerun. You know, like that's that's a really cool idea. It could definitely work. Mystery. A great genre that should absolutely be considered for the Dungeons & Dragons Paramount 2021 film. Uh, art House. 
All right, so now this is a really risky one, right? And why would you make it an art house film? Well, to me, I really feel that the Dungeons Dragons movie needs to be an American blockbuster. It needs like $250 million, right? Now, what if things start going south and they just can't make it? Because that's already happened. This movie just blew up within the last year at Warner, Warner Brothers, okay? Well, art house could, could give us some activity, give us some momentum, give us some acceleration. And... Um, and you know, allow the movie to be made, but not maybe with a two hundred fifty million dollar budget. Maybe with a twenty five million dollar budget. Now, I will say, if it, if it art house is attached to this it, as a genre, that will be a placeholder. We're still going to read the regular movie, right? But this is so hard getting this done that art house might need to be considered. Family. I definitely think that this film should absolutely be PG, right, or PG thirteen, and absolutely no one should be talking about the nonsense of radar film because if you're not paying attention do you know what radar means it means i would like to take a half a billion dollars and chop it off of my blockbuster amount of money that i can make that's what it means it's just like how many quarters of billions of dollars would you like to lose that's what a radar film is right and deadpool is the proof second one made less than the first and the company that made it just got bought <laughs> All right, post-apocalyptic, a very good maybe genre to be attached to Dungeons and Dragons. Comedy, you got to be careful with this one. It could make the movie really wonderful and enjoyable, or it could completely tank the movie if it's done wrongly. But I think we should consider comedy as a genre for the Dungeons and Dragons Paramount uh, for the Dungeons and Dragons Paramount 2021 film. Okay. All right, what are the yeses? There's three genres that are absolute pure yes for the Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Dungeons and Dragons Paramount 20, uh, 2021 film. Here they are. Fantasy. And they're in the, or the order that they should be. This is greatest to least. Fantasy. This is clearly going to be a fantasy film. It's important, right? Action. You need swords being swung, fireballs being cast, backstabbing being done. You know, you need healing being done on the, on, on the field. You know, this, you need it all. It's got to have action, right? And adventure. This needs to be an adventure movie. So this, the, the yeses are, without a doubt, this new movie needs to be a fantasy action adventure. And then maybe you can attach horror, romance, war, disaster, mystery, art house, family, post-apocalyptic, or comedy. And under no circumstance should anyone attach western thriller, musical, crime, sci-fi, supers, noir, sports, martial arts, or legal. Uh, so, so that's my opinion on it. I throw this in real quick. What should the form be, right? Uh, there's three forms for a film: live action, animated, or mixed, right? And so uh, I actually I know this is going to get crazy. I actually think it should be mixed. I think the lives of the players should be shown in live action and the and the Dungeon Master, and then the action in the Dungeons and Dragons world should be animated. So I think it should be a mix between live action and animation. It's risky, but I think it could be done, right? And I think it be a great way of showing that every Dungeons and Dragons game has two worlds. It has the worlds of the players and the Dungeon Masters, and it has the world of the fantasy world itself, the, the game world, right? It absolutely must include the lives of the D&D players and the D Dungeon Master. It should absolutely not just be another fantasy movie like it's a Harry Potter movie or like it's, um, or like it's a Tolkien, right? It's different. It's a game, and we need to capture that within the film. Okay, so that that's my opinion. It should absolutely be a fantasy action adventure. Uh, I would love to hear what you think. Do you think I put anything in the no list that should be on the maybe list? Did you, is there anything on the maybe list that should have been in the yes the yes list? And did I miss any genres? Thank you very much for watching this, and please consider liking, liking and subscribing. Take care.